Okay, this is a screencast uh, to teach you how to use Sublod, um, just using a basic um, input options and then create a search uh, based on, on your inputs. Uh, we're going to use the example of having a speaker um, who has a name um, and then you can select from a drop down menu what type of speaker they are. So they're either a poet, an illustrator, an author or a designer. And you can also select where they come from in Brisbane, Sydney or Melbourne and then our search will enable us to um, be able to list say all the poets from Brisbane or all the poets from all locations or all the illustrators from Melbourne so on and so forth okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to set up a, a new category uh, and that will store all of our um, entry uh, speakers so we'll just make that speakers as a new category And we can see it there and we just remember this speak um, the category ID 13 because that'll come in handy later on okay open up Sublod, and we'll set up a new folder just to keep everything in the same place Okay, so now we want to set up the content type. I'm just going to um, enable it so that um, you enter the data from the back end. I'm not going to borrow, uh, bother with front end forms at the moment. So we set up our new content type, which is speaker. And we put it in our speaker folder. Click save. Okay. So we need to add our fields. Now the first one was speaker name. And we're going to store that in the title field. And it's just going to be a simple text field. Now we create the speed speaker type. And we're going to make this a drop down list with some predefined values. So, as I said before, uh, we're going to have poets, authors, illustrators, and designers. Pretty sure that was all. Yeah. Okay. We save that one. And we make our speaker location. This is the same thing. Uh, we're going to have a simple drop down box with our locations, which were Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. And we're going to put this into speaker location and click alter, which I think I forgot to do on that previous one. Anyway, we need to re. Oh, sorry. We also create a hidden field, um, which is just going to store everything in that um, category that we created before. And that's just going to sit in the background. And we'll put the default value as 13, which is our category ID. And we'll use the pre existing cat ID field in the database table. And we'll save that. And we need to refresh the page so we can see our options. Okay, I'll just quickly, this is a step that I forgot to do before. I actually want this to be speaker type alter. Okay, so we add these into the admin form.
good. And we'll just make this one hidden. And we also add it to the front end. And we save and close that. Okay, now we need to set up our search function. So you can see I've already set this one up, but I'll delete it and show you um, how to do it from scratch. Click new, select the speaker content type. speaker search you can see this CCK field here um, that's really important you have to keep that in there you can just make it hidden um, so here we're going to put in our speaker locations and speaker types um, so these are going to be the selections that we can make in the front end we also need to put in a submit button as well um, to query the database. Okay, now we just need to link that up to our menu. So we create a search type and we'll call it speaker search and we'll select our speaker search search type here save and close that and uh, now we just need to sorry you can see it there um, and now we just need to enter some data so that we've got something to search so um, we create a new speaker we give him a name uh, we'll call him John Smith and they can be a poet from Brisbane and we'll call this one Joe can't think of a good last name for him so we'll make him a poet from Melbourne we'll have John John, who is an author from Melbourne, we'll have Josh, who is an illustrator from Sydney, okay that should do us now, um, so we view our site, we go to our search, and you can see all the um, items listed here, but if we want to filter them, we can see everyone from Brisbane. You can see there. Uh, we can search all the poets, both of them. Um, but if we want only to display the poets from Melbourne, like so. We want to see the illustrators from Melbourne there's no result because we haven't ended one yet but you can see that this filter form is working like a search generating the list based on um, whatever you define in here um, it's also good as we did before defining everything in a category because we can see that all of our entrants here are in the speakers category so that's easy for indexing and, and knowing where everything is. So anyway, I hope this has um, provided you with a, a really basic rundown of what is possible with Sublod. If you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment um, and, I'll, and I'll hopefully answer them. Thanks.